Something big is happening in the world of AI, and it's called ARIA. This open source AI model is getting attention fast, and for good reason. It's open for anyone to use and build on, but what's really got people excited is how ARIA is already standing shoulder to shoulder with major players like GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. It's causing a stir, and when you see what it's capable of, it's clear why this new model is becoming the one to watch in AI. All right, so ARIA was developed by a Tokyo-based company called Rhymes AI. It's what's called a multimodal AI, meaning it can handle different types of data, text, images, code, and video, all at once within the same system. This is a big deal because traditionally, AI models are usually built to be good at one thing. You've got models like GPT-4, which excel in language, or others that might be really good at processing images, but ARIA does it all, and that's something not many models can pull off efficiently. But what truly sets this model apart is its incredible efficiency. See, most AI models that try to do everything tend to be huge, which means they're power hungry and need a lot of computational resources. And that's not the case with ARIA. It's built using something called a Mixture of Experts MOE framework. Think of it like having a team of specialized experts. Only the expert that's needed for a specific task gets activated. So when you throw a request at ARIA, it only uses the part of the system that's necessary, making it much lighter on your hardware compared to other large AI models that run everything all at once. This kind of architecture makes the model more efficient and also makes it faster at processing the tasks you throw at it. And just to put some numbers on it, ARIA operates with 24.9 billion parameters, but it only activates 3.5 billion at any given time. Compare that to a fully dense model that has to run all its parameters and you'll see why it can outperform its competition without needing a supercomputer to function. Now, let's see what ARIA can do. First, it's impressive how effortlessly it manages different types of inputs, whether it's text, code, images, or video, while delivering top-notch performance across the board. It's actually the first multimodal MOE model that combines this architecture with the ability to work seamlessly across multiple types of data. In one test, Researchers fed ARIA an entire financial report. Instead of just pulling out keywords or highlighting a few sections like a standard model might, the model was able to analyze the entire report, extract detailed data, calculate profit margins, and even create Python code to build graphs, complete with formatting details. And it wasn't just skimming the surface, it was deeply understanding the report and delivering a precise output. That level of insight is pretty rare for AI models, especially one that's open source. In another test, Aria was given an hour-long video about Michelangelo's David. You might think an AI could just pull out a few key phrases, but this one did something more. It dissected the video into 19 distinct scenes, giving start and end times, titles, and descriptions for each. It went beyond just picking out words or scenes. It grasped the entire context, processing the video on a much deeper level than simply recognizing objects or actions. It felt more like it was understanding the full narrative behind it. For those of you into coding, ARIA's skills shine there too. In one test, it watched a video tutorial, pulled out code snippets, and even debugged the code. It literally found and fixed a logic flaw in a nested loop, something that requires an advanced understanding of programming. This is a level of reasoning that makes ARIA stand out from other AI models. Now, it's one thing to hear about what this model can do, but it's another to see how it holds up against some of the giants in the AI world. In benchmark tests, ARIA has gone head-to-head -head with both open source and proprietary models, and the results are pretty stunning. It's outperformed open source models like Pixtral 12b and Llama 3.211b. But where it gets even more impressive is when ARIA starts competing with proprietary models like GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. On multiple tests covering everything from text processing to video understanding, ARIA's performance was on par with these industry leaders. For example, in the Docs VQA test, which is all about understanding documents and answering questions about them, ARIA scored 92.6%. That's better than a lot of the major models, including Pixtral 12b. When it comes to handling long videos, it scored 66.8% on Long Video Bench and 72.1% on Video MMME. These scores show that ARIA is indeed a jack of all trades, but also genuinely capable of delivering top tier performance across a range of tasks, even when compared to models from big companies with huge resources. But its real strength lies beyond just the numbers. 
its long context window, capable of handling 64,000 tokens at once, gives it a significant advantage. This means it can process lengthy documents or videos while maintaining a strong grip on the details. That's where it pulls ahead of models like Pixtral 12B and Llama 3.211B, even holding its own against proprietary models like Gemini 1.5 Flash. All right, let's break down how Aria was trained, which is a big reason behind its impressive performance. The model was prepped with an enormous amount of data, 6.4 trillion language tokens and 400 billion multimodal tokens. That's a lot, covering everything from text to images and videos, making sure it could get the hang of all types of inputs. Rhymes AI didn't simply load it up with data and hope for the best. They followed a carefully structured approach to shape its abilities step by step. Aria first focused on mastering the essentials through vast amounts of text, building a strong understanding of language. Once that foundation was in place, it moved on to more complex inputs like images, videos, and code while maintaining its sharp language skills. This approach gave Aria the versatility to excel across all kinds of content. Then, they trained it to deal with long pieces of data, whether it's hour-long videos or detailed reports without losing track or getting overwhelmed. And in the final stage, they sharpened its ability to follow instructions and give accurate, detailed answers. This approach ensured that Aria didn't just understand data, but could engage with it in a meaningful way. By going through these steps, Aria became a well-rounded and versatile model, ready to tackle a wide range of tasks with ease. So this model clearly represents a major shift in the future of AI. For a long time, the AI space has been dominated by closed systems where access to top models meant relying on big companies like OpenAI or Google. Now, Aria changes that by offering an open source option that rivals, and in some cases, surpasses its proprietary competitors. Of course, there are still hardware constraints. You'll need a powerful GPU with at least 80 GB of VRM to run Aria effectively. But considering how new it is, there's a lot of room for optimization, and we could see lighter, more efficient versions down the road. In fact, Rhymes AI has already hinted that they're working on quantized versions of Aria, which will make it easier for more people to run it without needing supercomputers. Aria represents the future of AI, one that's open, adaptable, and efficient. It has the potential to push the boundaries of what's possible with AI, offering developers the freedom to innovate without the constraints of proprietary systems. As more people start using it and contributing to its development, it could become a real competitor to some of the biggest names in the industry. Aria's ability to seamlessly work with text, images, video, and code all in one system gives us a real sense of where AI is headed, whether you're a developer aiming to create something groundbreaking or simply someone intrigued by how fast AI is evolving, this model is definitely worth paying attention to. So what's your take on Aria's potential? Do you think open source models like this are the future of AI or will the big players hold their ground? Let me know what you think in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for more deep dives into AI breakthroughs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.